Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your love reading for May 16th, 2021. Uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. This is for all Virgos with placements in Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay? Um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. All right, please make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe. Help me build my channel here. And please do let the other Virgos in your life know that they can come here and get some free readings, okay? So let's take a look and see what energies are playing out for you in love here. This will be for the month, I'm sorry, for the day of May 16th. Okay, Spirit, what messages does Virgo need to know? And thank you everyone for your support thus far. Okay, so you have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, Virgo, you're in defensive mode. You are like staying as single as a Pringle here. Mm, you don't know what you want, Virgo. You're not sure. You have some grief. Yeah, there may be somebody coming in who's a king of swords, like I said. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, light, light in communication, I feel like this person, um, they, they definitely come through as someone who thinks about what they want to say before they say it. Okay, very strategic with their words and their communication. But I just kind of feel like you are perhaps still grieving or in a position of feeling lost. Maybe, maybe not the loss of a person, but maybe just, you know, it could, it doesn't have to be a, rom a romantic relationship. Maybe you lost someone close to you, like a friend or a family member. You're just in a grieving period here. You just, I feel like you feel maybe abandoned or unloved or just feeling sad, okay? Um, you're not sure. Maybe somebody ghosted you or you're just not sure which path you want to take or maybe you have a lot of options and you can't commit and you're just not sure at this time. Um, I'm going to pull a clarifying card for that King of Swords because I'm curious to see why this person is showing up now they don't have to be an air sign could be a leo um, but this pr i want to see why i want to get more clarity on that but let me get some more cards for you wow you have the ten of cups virgo you're looking for you you want this with somebody or just in your life in general. Um, you want to have a happy family. You want total love and support. And I feel like if you have to stay single and do your work and be independent, you'll, you'll keep doing that until this energy begins to flow towards you. And maybe you could have that with, with this King of Swords here, but you're a bit defensive because you don't, I feel like some of you just don't want to show your grief or your sadness to really a suitor. You're, you may be showing that you're fine. And maybe you are fine. You know, maybe you are getting on with your day and you're living your life and you're happy. But, you know, this feels more internal. And I don't know that it's from somebody else. It may just be like feeling hopeless. Gosh, so you have the Knight of Pentacles. Love comes in slow. Somebody coming in to heal your broken heart. For some of you, there might have been like an argument or a third party kind of thing. And very slowly, somebody coming in um, either to offer an apology or to offer to take you out somewhere to help you feel better. Could be somebody new or someone... I'm not picking up past energy here yet, okay? I mean, 
I'm not sure why you're feeling sad, but I will pull some clarifiers for that. You're kind of mixed emotion. Wow. Now the Page of Cups sometimes is my apology card, but this is like, whew. who is this? All right, we want to take a look. Because I know some of you, you listen and you're like wanting an apology from someone. And others of you are like, no, you're past that and you want somebody new. But I have to tell you, I don't really feel like it's a past person coming in to apologize to you. I feel like you are just letting the rest of that go and you're living your life now as, you know, acknowledging that you are opening yourself up to love but just finishing out some type of grief let's look at this king of swords and see what the energy is of the king of swords huh the queen of wands so could i did say leo okay so they could have a leo and an air placement Oh, wow, this person is healing from a broken heart. Now, some of you Virgos very well could be coming in as the King of Swords as well. Okay, um, if you're male or if you're female, coming in with a bit more of a masculine, not communicating really, just keeping your defenses up. You could be healing from a past uh, break of some sort or something that might have happened three of swords is here twice in the upright and the reverse so it could be with um, a fire sign aries leo sagittarius so it's either you or this or another person it could be both okay let's take a look here at this defensive energy why is virgo defensive king of pentacles Trying to maintain your sense of stability right now. Mm hmm. Trying to be grounded. You're not letting anyone in or anything in to knock you or distract you from your physical, the things you have and what you're building and creating in your life and career, you know, your abundance your investments you're being solid and practical and you're protecting that aspect of yourself because i feel for you virgo if you if you get knocked off or things are just kind of out of alignment or your routines are disrupted um, because of emotional things then you kind of get sidetracked and then it's hard to get back on track so for some of you even like going to work can be difficult um, and you're maintaining your stance okay um, and that's why you're being you're not letting yourself be knocked over all right let's take a look at this nine of pentacles why does virgo why else does virgo want to um or just be single right now okay I feel like it's a way for you to avoid any kind of conflicts and you're seeking mental clarity here in your life. You only want truth. You don't want to be wrapped up in any kind of problems. That's what I see here. And that Ace of Swords, you're focusing on work and your career and your ideas, concepts, um, trying to just release yourself from any and all emotional attachments right now why is the seven of cups here now i was saying that maybe somebody had ghosted you or you just feel lost or you can't figure something out here okay ten of cups in the reverse so something that you thought maybe was going to be something didn't come to fruition okay or you're hopeless about that right now um it could be family trouble or feeling like an empty nester or a broken relationship or marriage okay so that might be leading to this five of cups here where you just feel a sense of grief what else can you tell virgo about the five of cups okay the high priestess hmm 
you're keeping to yourself, keeping secrets you're not sharing. I mean, maybe you are sharing with a couple of friends, you know, but you're really not, you're not putting anything out there about your grief right now. You don't want to. You're just trying to trust yourself, seeking the mysteries. You're seeking tarot readings or you're listening to tarot. Yeah, the Ace of Cups just came out here in reverse. So maybe you don't, well, right now I feel like you are going through this process of acknowledging that perhaps a past relationship just was always delayed or it couldn't work out, a feeling of being let down, maybe disappointed or depressed, but you're not revealing that maybe to somebody, um, maybe the particular person in question, or you just are feeling depressed about you know, your love life in general, but you're not sharing that. You're maintaining, as I said, like um, some kind of stance or that you're okay and you're going to work and that, but you really do long to have this here in your life with someone. Just joy, contentment, partnership. Let's get a clarifying card for the Ten of Cups. Is this Ten of Cups coming in for you, Virgo? Okay. Five of Swords. Well, you're definitely not taking it upon yourself. Um, to force it, but the Five of Swords reversed is an energy of like a fair fight or peace after trouble. And this can represent someone being caught at something or being caught up for some of you catching feelings. Okay, you may be catching feelings for somebody new who's coming in here, but you're not letting that on. You're just keeping it to yourself. So, who is this Knight of Pentacles? What is the energy of the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, Queen of Cups reversed. So there may be a water element coming in. Okay. Um, this person may have some addictions. <laughs> be a little smothering um, and insecure. But they are coming in with a solid offer. Um, They are showing up as reliable and patient. They may have been involved also with someone who had that reverse Queen of Cups energy, um, male or female. They could have been, or they could have been with, or um, they could be. Um, either coming out of an abusive type of relationship or are coming in to apologize for some abusive emotional manipulations of some sort. You know, I just read, I'm trying to cover everybody and read whatever the messages are here, but it feels mostly like um, somebody, I don't know if it's the past or if it's somebody new is coming in to help heal your broken heart. Let's get clarity on the Three of Swords. Because the Three of Swords, you know, that can be, that can be heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. For some of you, surgery. If you're having surgery, someone coming in to help care for you or help you deal with that. Um, let's see. Wow, Eight of Pentacles. I just heard made effort to hurt you, but is sorry for that. <laughs> wow, made an effort to hurt. Well, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, that could be. Um. And for others, this person was just simply negligent, didn't realize that you were being hurt. 
they were very much focused on mastering themselves and their craft and the things that they wanted to do or maybe just being unavailable because always working that caused some heartache of some sort and i feel like there may be an apology here doesn't mean there's a getting back together because i'm not sure that you want to go in that direction here I don't feel like this person is seeing your grief if this is someone coming in and saying they're sorry for hurting you or being negligent. I don't feel like it's because they're seeing your grief. I feel like it's because I feel like it's because this person realizes that maybe they were lazy or they gave up on you too quickly. I don't know what they're seeing right now other than maybe they're feeling a loss. Now, for others of you, with somebody coming in here to help ease your troubles and your woes, um, this could be somebody that you work with. And they could be sharing their own issues and problems that somebody gave up on them. So there's a lot of sweet communication and an offer for like a date or dinner or something. This is Piscean energy here. Five of Pentacles is reversed. That's it. Somebody's either coming in to apologize because they feel... hopeful about your connection they want to recover this connection again or it's it could be both or it's somebody coming in new who feels hopeful about you or brings hope back into your heart again just by their communication with you beautiful communication they come in here with you Okay, so I'm not seeing a deep love thing here, but I am picking up an apology or support, a new love, either a new love start or new love, like new love start or recommitment to love, volunteering the love. So let's get a couple of cards from the Angel Answers deck and see what the messages are here for you. Virgo. <laughs> a year from now, things will all be different. A year from now, Virgo. A year from now, things will will be completely different and you would have forgotten all about your troubles. These will be distant memories. There will be major change a year from now. I know it's an awfully long time for you if you're restless, but do not have a restless heart, Virgo. Be at peace and it will fly by. Okay. There's compromise. I do feel like somebody's coming in and there will be compromise between you and another person. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I don't know if that's your past. It could be. It could also be somebody new coming in where there's balance. There's a new chapter. In a year from now, you'll be writing a brand new story. And the compromise comes in as... A win-win solution coming in for you and truth coming out Wow I think every Virgo reading I've done thus far on my channel has got there's something better 
Have hope. There's something better. You won't be in your grief because that sits at the center of this reading. You won't be there forever. And I do feel like somebody's going to come in and help you through all of that. A new lover or a past love. And if you're, you know, whatever your grief might be, say yes to new love. Say yes. And that's an energy of being positive, Virgo. Don't focus on the word no. Focus on the word yes. Everything yes, yes, yes. Except um, abuse. <laughs> that's always a no. Everything else, yes. Fearless. You will be successful. Whatever you're in right now may feel like it's never going to end, but it will. Your pain, your love, ask for help from others. You do have help coming in here. Okay. Um, you may be getting closure from a grief stricken situation, but there is new love coming as well. And obviously, wherever you are in your life, you can choose whichever path you want to walk. Um, but again, it's up to you. I just think that these messages are good. And I want you to be positive. Okay, Virgo? So thanks for visiting my channel. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave. I would be so happy. And um, I will see you all very soon. All right, take care.